Okay, this is what I'm going to add to my, um, these are the ingredients for my Kalalu. It's a, a Trinidad national dish. That's what came up on my uh, International Cuisine Night Lotto. And uh, this is the second recipe in that lotto. And I couldn't find one ingredient where I live because it's not native to this area and the conventional American supermarkets do not carry taro leaves, dashi leaves. So um, I have to substitute that, those leaves. So here we go. I'm going to use two of these bags of spinach. Two bags of spinach, maybe one and a half, probably two bags because I have a, I'm making a big batch here. Of course, we're going to use olive oil some olive oil because I want to just uh, saute the un saute onions and garlic as a base, a little saute, not too much. And we're going to use some chopped up spring onions, one habanero pepper, which I'm just going to have in it while I'm sauteing it, uh, while I'm, I'm steaming down everything. This will be in the mix, but I'm not going to cut it open or break it open. This is just to add a little heat. Um, in the end, I'm throwing in two tablespoons of butter. We're going to use crab meat instead of crabs because I can't find crabs. The only crabs I can find is $15 for a bag of crab legs, which is ridiculous. Okay, so then um, I'm going to use some red pepper. We got some okra. I was lucky enough to find that around here one can of coconut milk carrots, two carrots one sweet potato and I guess I mentioned everything, the garlic and the onions uh, so uh, if I add anything else along the way I will mention it so th these are the ingredients I'm going to use to make my Kalalu Kalalu, I don't even know how to pronounce it Trinidad this is what really uh, basically hits the Trinidad mark when they use the because uh, this this meal is definitely a common meal in the Caribbean it comes it's originated in West Africa and found its way to the Caribbean easy enough and uh, you know this is basically the Trinidad version uh, okay I'll keep you posted as I'm making this meal never made it before and I just checked out videos on the internet and I'm uh, making this, uh, this kind of recipe here. It's not going to be traditional because I'm not using the dashi leaves, but it's close close enough for what, what I got around me here unless I want to take a trip to New York City and, and find those leaves somewhere. But I'm not about to do that. Oh, so here's one ingredient I didn't add on my ingredients list. I forgot. This is uh, thyme, some fresh thyme sprigs so now I'm going to start sauteing, sauteing the onions and garlic and a little bit of olive oil here a little bit so let's take off these thyme leaves because I like to saute the thyme to be in this step to release the flavor and the aromatic as they would say release the, the aromatics so we just go opposite way on the stem as we all know and off come the uh, the thyme leaves and the uh, funny thing is at the store today you see you know like they have those little packets of the fresh fresh herbs I go down and I go, ah, they're out. They didn't have any time. So then, you know, I'm on my way out and it's a, there's a big shelf of all these uh, plants that they're selling plants. And oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, look at this huge plant I got here. 
of time, you know, and I'm going to plant this outside. I have the time for $1.99, whereas if I would have bought the packet, what was it, $2.40, 40 something cents, just for a little packet of the stuff that was, that's really not that, as fresh as this, because this is still alive. So, it's amazing. Sometimes you can find deals, and you're not even looking for them, and they hit you in the face, and you go, oh my god. So, that was good, and luckily I found everything I needed for this meal, except the dashi, which is the taro, taro leaves, but that's an oddball thing. You ain't gonna find that out here on Long Island. I mean, I don't know where out on Long Island I'm gonna find something like that. So, we're substituting it with spinach, and actually, even some people some Trinidad people that aren't living in Trinidad, they wind up using spinach too. So I'm not going that far off out of the, uh, the picture. So when this is just sauteed down a bit, I just want to soften them up a bit. Then I'm going to add, you know, I, I also softened up a little bit the uh, sweet potato. I softened up the carrots a little bit just to get those softened up and then we're going to add the okra, the peppers, the hot pepper and uh, coconut milk, crabs, and the spinach. You'll see how it comes along. So I want to uh, let these soften these up first and then I'll show you when I add the rest of the ingredients. Okay, I've had them uh, sauteing, so now they're uh, translucent. So at this point, we're going to turn it up because we want to bring this to a uh, to a simmer. There go my sweet potatoes. There go my carrots. Now we're throwing everything in there. All right. Green onions, the green onions, the red peppers, okay, the green onions and red peppers, and here come along the okras, yep, all the okras going in there now, right, so, and now, let's, we're throwing in this habanero pepper, like that. I gotta watch out for that, uh, let's put this butter over here, I shouldn't have left it out like that. That's going in later. Open up the canner. Coconut milk. We're throwing the whole thing in there. That's how we do. I say that's how we do, so that's how we do. Bag number one of the spinach. That's ten ounces of spinach going in. I lost one leaf. I ain't that bad so far. I lost one leaf. Now, we're not going to put any more in yet. Get back here. Well, this stove is nice and clean. Spick and span, so. We'll be throwing, I think. A little more than half of, of the other bag in. I want to bring it to a pound of spinach total. That leaf there is not going to get away. Not even, not even that little crumb, which I don't want down in the basement over there anyway. And we'll wash off the one that got away over here. Nothing gets away. 
food is too valuable. And it's getting more and more valuable by the day with that national debt going up. And it's causing the inflation, so go ahead and build more bombs. The more bombs you build, the more bombs they build, the more money they throw away on military, the more our food's going to cost us. Okay, now uh, let's see if I can squeeze in <laughs> a half a. So, it'll be 16 ounces of spinach. One pound of spinach total. Hey, watch what's going to happen to this. Put that cover on there. Get back here! Okay, let that sit for, for a while so that wilts down. And then we're gonna let this baby simmer for an hour. I'll even set my timer now to one hour over here. Then we'll take a look at it. Start. Okay? Catch you later, Essay. Yeah, I, I, I let that uh, wilt down a wee bit for the next, for, you know, before we're putting this stuff here, and it's only been four minutes and starting to wilt down, but now we're throwing in a can of crab meat to give it that touch flavor. You know, couldn't get the crabs. So, I figured I'd get the crab meat. You know, out here where I live, I hate buying anything crabs because I can catch crabs. A mile down the block, I can catch crabs. You know, and let's season this with a little more black pepper. Yeah. We love the black pepper, yes, we do. What would do what would, would we be without black pepper? Spice of life. Now what else should we forget? I think I'm gonna chuck in that butter. Two tablespoons of butter. At room temperature. Didn't have to be at room temperature. I didn't want to forget it, so that's why I left it out. Sometimes I do that, I forget an ingredient. You see now, this is like boiling up. I don't want it to do that. So we're bringing it down. We're going to get this to a simmer. We want this at a simmer. And you know what? I'm wondering if I should add some more, some water to this, but I still got enough moisture in there where I can hold off for a while. You know, I'll have to take a look in about 10 minutes, 15 minutes to see if it's... Because we don't want this to dry out for sure. But there's a lot of moisture in this spinach, so we should be okay. Now let's put the cover back on and I'll see you in a little while. Okay, okay. Now this is 15 minutes. And you see, see how far she's come down already? Now, i tell you the truth, that's to me simmering too much. I, I have a small burn, a little small, one more small burn, but still, I'm going to use this underneath the pot. This is called a diffuser, which will lower the heat and distribute the heat a little more evenly. So we stick that in there, under here. And if it's still simmering high, too high, but look at that. See the way it brought that simmer down? Now that's the way I'm going to want it, simmering nice and slowly, you put this cover on. We'll let that sit. Now uh, what, 44 minutes more minutes to go. Alright, it's about that, there it goes, there it goes, the timer. So, it's been one hour, and uh, there she goes. Well, I lost the second half of uh, the last part of my video here, what I did, uh, because my memory card was full and also the battery went dead. So it got me both ways. 
Anyway, I took an immersion blender and I blended this up with the immersion blender. So, mmm, it tastes delicious. Um, wait a minute, I'm gonna mount this. Let's mount this up so we can see and I dish this out in the plate, which looks like. But I'm gonna eat this with some leftover. Nope, that battery, this battery's going dead, so I gotta hurry up. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, this battery's going dead. With the leftover pumpernickel. So we take this, look at that. Delicious. Mmm, boy, oh boy. And there we have it. Kalalu. National Dish of Trinidad. Okay?